Hello, my fellow minor league nerds, and welcome to the first episode of my new series, Minor League Nerd Shorts. This series is going to be dedicated to teams that either did not last all that long or ones where there just isn't a whole lot of information out there about them. This first episode is about the Victoria Muscles. The Muscles were based in Victoria, British Columbia, and played two seasons as an independent team in the Class A Northwest League in 1978 and 1979, playing their home games at Royal Athletic Park. They were founded by former minor leaguers Jim Chapman and Don Rogelstad, along with Chapman's brother, Lynn. Jim Chapman acted as the team's manager in 1978 while playing the infield, while Rogelstad served as the team's pitching coach, as well as pitching in 14 games, 10 of those being starts. The team would debut on June 20th, 1978 in Bellingham, Washington, losing to the Bellingham Mariners 7-4 but that was nothing compared to their home debut the next night, also against the Mariners, when they were smashed 19-1. In that first season, they finished in last place in the North Division with a 29-40 and record. They only saw 10,103 fans for an average of 288 over 35 games. For the 1979 season, ownership formed a partnership with Van Schley, who was an artist, film producer, and baseball fanatic that sort of ran an agency for undrafted and unwanted ballplayers. Under the terms of their agreement, Schley would bring in new manager Bill Brick, as well as 16 players whose contracts he would cover. In return, he would keep the proceeds of any of the 16 that were sold to MLB teams. Schley and Brick had the same agreement in 1978, with the Grays Harbor Loggers. Jim Chapman and Don Rogelstad stepped away from their on-field roles to concentrate more on promoting the team. The 1979 season was better on the field for the Muscles. They would actually win 24 of their last 36 games, but it wasn't enough to make the postseason as they finished tied for second place with the Bellingham Mariners going 41 and 31. But, they drew even fewer fans that year, as only 8,073 showed up for an average of 224 per game. Comedian Bill Murray actually played one game for the Muscles on June 18th and coached first base the next day. Following that second season, the team was sold to Robert Peden, a Nainamo British Columbia real estate developer who changed the team's name to the Victoria Blues. Most modern sources list the 1980 team still as the Muscles, but local newspapers did indeed use the name the Blues. As the Blues, they finished in second place with a 42-28 and record, three games behind the division-winning Bellingham Mariners. They drew more fans than the previous two seasons, as 11,127 showed up for an average of 318 per game. During the following offseason, it was announced that the Northwest League would contract from eight to six teams. They were doing away with independent teams, wanting all other teams to be affiliated. The Grays Harbor Loggers were unable to secure a working agreement with an MLB team, so they just folded outright. Since an odd number of teams doesn't really work in baseball, the league was able to talk Peden, whose team was struggling financially, into dropping out for at least the 1981 season, with hopes of returning in 1982. The team, though, would never return. Two players who played for the Muscles went on to play in Major League Baseball. They were Dale Mahorek in 1978, who made his MLB debut in 1986, playing until 1990, as well as Tom Candiotti in 1979. He made his debut in 1983 and played until 1999. Well, my fellow minor league nerds, that's going to do it for this first episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. It's a series that I think you're going to enjoy, as this will allow me to talk about more of the lesser-known teams that played 
throughout the years in minor league baseball. Thank you for watching and for all your support. And until next time, never stop supporting minor league baseball and never stop learning about minor league baseball history.